Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain Loser. Let us pray. Almighty God, we gather to celebrate this milestone in the lives of these airmen who graduate today and who take their oath to support and defend the Constitution of this great nation. We thank you for their families who have provided them support and encouragement during their journey through basic military training. We ask you to bless their military training instructors and the staff who have invested endless hours fostering integrity, service before self, and excellence in all they do. God, as these young airmen take their first steps off this parade ground, may they honorably follow those who have gone before them as they become our next generation of leaders. Leaders like those we will witness today as the 737 Training Group changes command from Colonel Jason Carruthers to Colonel Michael Newsom. We pause and realize that all authority ultimately comes from you. Therefore, we give you thanks for the faithful leadership of Colonel Carruthers as he has faithfully and skillfully piloted the 737 Training Group to great accomplishments. We realize that leadership like Colonel Carruthers would not have been possible without the foundation of support his family provided for him. Therefore, we ask your blessing now upon his family as they turn the page to a new and exciting chapter of their lives. And now, grant wisdom and guidance upon Colonel Newsom as he takes command of this outstanding group, knowing to whom much is given, much is required. May his family rally around him and support him throughout his tenure as he dedicates himself to the fulfillment of this mission. For these fine airmen as they graduate, Colonel Newsom as he assumes command, and for all military personnel deployed around the world, we ask that you bless them, watch over them, guide them, and protect them. For these things we ask in your name. Amen. Thank you, Chapter Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
give one to Pitts on it. I just never watched it. Yeah, I did.
of pride, of passion, and professionalism. And they stand here this morning as airmen because of a world-class team that turns anxious civilians into ready and lethal warfighters in just eight and a half short weeks. And over the last two years, that team of uncommon airmen has been led by a very uncommon commander and Colonel Jason Carruthers. Under Jason's steadfast leadership, basic military training has exceeded the extremely high standards our Air Force expects of this world-class organization. And he has led this team, this team through tremendous change. Some of the most wide-sweeping changes in the history of basic military training. And he has pushed them to new heights. In fact, his military training instructor corps was recently named the 2019 Air Force Team of the Year. A tremendous and historic accomplishment. So two years later, and more than 80,000 airmen his team has proven to be caring, professional, and ready at every turn. Jason, thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done for our Air Force and will continue to do so. I applaud you. One thing that basic military training never lacks for is talent. So as we say goodbye to Colonel Carruthers, we also welcome Colonel Mike Newsom. And Mike shares a common history with our newest airmen. Because you see, the 24th of August, 1982, <laughs> Airman Newsom marks down this historic bomb run. crossed into the blue and he swore the very same oath of enlistment. Mike began his distinguished career as a defender and was later selected for officer training school and excelled in communication and cyber operations. During his service, he's been hand selected to work with the highest levels of military and congressional leadership. And if you know someone, anyone who has worked with Colonel Mike Newsom, they will tell you he is driven relentless, innovative, and talented, but above all else, he is a true servant leader. Bottom line, basic military training will be in amazing hands with Colonel Newsom, and I'm extremely excited to see where he takes this team and how he builds upon its historic legacy. Mike, once again, congratulations and welcome to the Warhawk family. Ladies and gentlemen, we're honored to be with you today. May God bless the Newsom and Carruthers family. May God bless these airmen and our gateway to the Air Force. And may God forever bless this great nation. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Colonel Generals. Colonel Generals will now make a special medal presentation. Of over 7,000 trainees. 
His extraordinary leadership and expertise ensured the transformation of 79,000 civilians to warrior airmen, replenishing 118 Air Force specialties. During his command, Colonel Plus oversaw the most comprehensive changes to Air Force basic military training in over a generation, refocusing the crews around the sector of defense's guiding principles of readiness and lethality. This redesign strengthened basic military training by expanding physical training 39%. Improving hand-to-hand -hand combat lessons and introducing a full weapons qualification course on the M4 rifle. Under his leadership, the Air Civil 100 course was introduced for the first time ever into the expanded eight and a half week basic military training program to deliver continuous immersion intended to accelerate mind to heart adoption of Air Force core values and warrior ethos principles. Colonel Corrales also led a heritage program overall to better interweave Air Force history and heroes across eight and a half weeks, including physical training sessions obstacles, and curriculum. Additionally, Colonel Crowes oversaw the implementation of special warfare flights at basic military training, providing focused physical training, dedicated mentorship, and curriculum mentors, and improving training outcomes for eight Air Force specialties. Finally, Colonel Crowes Military Training Instructor Corps earned the distinction of being selected as the Air Force's Chief Master Sergeant Expert for Team of the Year for 2018. The Superior Initiative Outstanding leadership and personal endeavor displayed by Colonel Carruthers reflect great credit upon himself and the United States Air Force.
someone special. See, every great command team requires a great leader. And so he's going to hate me because I'm putting him on blast. But I'd like to bring Chief Master Sergeant Lee Hoover forward. Chief Hoover has been my wingman. He's been my teammate, the senior enlisted leader for basic military training. This is a special one. I appreciate you, brother. So I've had the honor of wearing this commander badge. And so this commander insignia that I wear, I have two of them. One that I wear on this uniform today, that I'll present to my wife later. And the other on my service dress. I took that badge off that service dress. I'm a better commander because of the senior enlisted leader that I've been able to run hard and serve hard alongside. So there are not enough words to convey the gratitude, but may this small token attempt to do this. So look, that's what it's all about. It's committing ourselves to each other, to the team. Because make no mistake, that's what this thing is all about. It's about being the strongest team so that we can be ready for each and every fight that our nation may ever ask of us. And so to my BMT home team and to this team on the field, you know what's coming, and I want to hear you loud. One team! One team! Thank you. I appreciate it.
down to the graduate. Um, I stood before you, I stood here in 1982 in the same, same place where you are today. I'm very proud of each and everything that you do, that you're doing, and that you're going to accomplish. Just remember one thing. We will much as given, much as required. You have been given the opportunity to join the elite group of airmen. As those before you, you are now going to join uh, our Air Force Airmen. Okay? There's another thing I'd like to, to mention. Uh, diversity. Diversity is our strength. Right? Inclusiveness is our power. So if you look to the left and right of you, in front of you, and back of you, uh, those are your wings. And today, I am so very proud and honored to say that you are my winner. Well, well, I have one last question for you. Are you ready to join the race for the most powerful Air Force in the world? Thank you. Please be seated. I, I. 